Hello. <laughs> so the other day after my sessions, I came online and was sharing my reflections about the difference between survival mode and creation mode and how as human beings, being both animal and spiritual in nature, we really embody both of these dynamics. We have that inherent need to, to survive, to live, and we can react in ways that reflect that instinct to survive. And we also, being spiritual in nature, can activate and access our creative mode where we can actually choose how to respond versus just reacting out of the need to survive. We can choose how to respond and make choices and take action that is more aligned with our desires and what type of life we want to experience. And in that way, we are creating reality. So I've still been reflecting on this and I wanted to come back on to further talk about this and to help to articulate a little bit of how we can find more balance between these two dynamics and how we can work a little bit more with our capacity to create, with our ability to make choices around how we respond versus just acting subconsciously out of this instinct to survive, right? Running on autopilot. We need both, right? As humans, we need both. We need to live. <laughs> we need to inhabit our bodies and there's certain things we need to do in order to keep ourselves alive, right? But we are not just animals. We are also spiritual beings and we're here to create, you know, earth life is like a playground that we are here to enjoy, to create, and then enjoy the fruits of our creation. I really believe that. So how do we do this? How can we shift out of living primarily in survival mode and start to really embody our capacity to create, to manifest, to live the life that we desire, that we want to live? Well, the first thing is that you need to know what you want. <laughs> you need to know what it is you even want. What type of life do you desire to have? What types of experiences do you desire to experience? What is important to you? That's important. So reflecting on that and getting clear about it and really spending a lot of time until you get really clear on what living the life of your, of your desires really means? What does that actually look like? And once you have good clarity on that, the rest becomes very easy. The way that you can shift out of survival mode and into creation mode is in the moment when something happens, it's all happening. <laughs> when something happens, like conflict with somebody or outer stimuli like the news you hear a piece of news that's like freaks you out um or you stub your toe or anything anything you know it's all always happening <laughs> when it's happening the key here is to before reacting to it stop just stop take a beat okay take a beat and ask yourself, how can I react in this situation or how can I respond to this situation in such a way that is reflective of my desired outcome? And how do you know what your desired outcome is? Well, you will have already done that work. You know what you want in your life. You know what type of life you want. What kind of vibe do you want to vibe in your life? right? Is it happy, free, playful, authoritative, in control? What? What is it? And then you're going to be able to respond to whatever's going on in your world based on taking aligned action that is aligned with your desired outcome. So if my desired outcome is to live a life of play, 
than when someone cuts me off of tra in traffic and flips me the bird, instead of reacting angrily or trying to overpower that person, I'm going to take a beat and I'm going to choose to respond in a way that is playful. So maybe I'll smile and wave at that person, right? Um, if your desired outcome for your life is to feel more in control, is to feel more authoritative or to have outer control, that's not just to be easy peasy, flowy, if you want more like control and control over your environment, then when someone cuts you off and flips you the bird, maybe you will... I don't know, what, what could you do to have more control in that situation? Uh, maybe you'll cut them off. <laughs> I don't rec recommend that, but maybe that is what you do because that's in line, in alignment with you having more control. Or maybe you want more self-control. And so when someone cuts you off and flips the bird, instead of reacting at all, you just let it be. You maintain your composure. The key here really is to know what you want so that when things happen, you can take a pause of like nanosecond and choose how to respond. And when you choose your response, when you take aligned action, then you will find bit by bit, action by action, little by little, your reality shifts to actually give you what you are desiring. That is how manifestation works. Okay. Cool, right? I know, I love it. I just thought I'd share that with you. It's something I'm thinking about, so I thought it would be cool to share with you guys, bring you along on my journey, my Jesse journey. <laughs> Let me know what you think about what I'm saying. If you have anything you want to add, I would love to hear it. Thank you so much for being with me, guys.